folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. I do want to apologize for not getting a video out this morning. Today did not work out as planned. Been busy, uh, at least with mental busyness stuff. And I had planned on getting a video out this morning, and it just it just didn't work out that way. Uh, sometimes life just keeps you busy, <clears throat> and I'm still still nursing a a back that's given me problems. I'm certainly not back to normal. Uh, I appreciate those of you that are praying because it's needed. Um, I, I have I've pulled my back out in the past, but um, I think this has been probably the worst one. Uh, it's definitely taking the longest to heal, and I guess it's just because I'm getting older, right? You know, middle age now. Um, it, it just it just takes longer. So, <clears throat> excuse me, but I am on the mend. And I'm hoping, you know, in a day or two, uh, I'm going to be feeling as normal as can be. We'll see. Uh, but we can still have faith for that. Uh, because I was so busy today, I will admit I did not do much prep for this kind of video. It's mostly just me talking. Um, the elections, of course, have come and gone, and we still don't know a real clear winner when it comes to, you know, what party is going to kind of lead this country, at least on the congressional side of things. Um, I'm not an expert. I don't pretend to be one. And I'll be honest with you, I don't follow politics as like I used to, uh, mostly because I believe it's all just a, a big scam and uh, they're all in it for themselves and their big corporate interests and the bankers and all that kind of stuff. And and I would say a, an extremely minute, tiny percentage of them actually care about you and I. Uh, and that's my, my opinion. But uh, it does appear that the red wave that we had been hearing so much about is not panning out. Um, it's possible, it looks like, in my unexpert opinion, it's possible that the Republicans might take control of the House by a very tiny uh, margin. Uh, and the Senate looks pretty much kind of a toss-up. It could end up being just a, a dead even split. Uh, maybe one party might uh, pull a win out over another and have a 51-49 or whatever. Uh, but if it's a dead even split, then of course we all know, or at least you should know, that that means that it's a Democrat House because Kamala Harris is the deciding vote. The deal is, is that if we just look at it, on the surface and not, you know, look into any possible foul play. Um, I don't, and again, maybe I'm just a, being a little bit pessimistic, but I don't necessarily see the, the chance for a lot of drastic radical changes in this country. Uh, I was talking to someone today and I said, look at it this way. I mean, what, what has the White House done, the Biden administration? What have they done since they took power uh, everything that they've done, you could say nothing, but but they have done some things. And the vast majority of the things that they've done has just been as on an executive power. I mean, there's not been a lot of big legislation that's gotten passed. Uh, most of it they've done on a on an executive level. So if they can keep the Congress all uh, you know lame duck tied up because it's split, then I think that they'll just keep doing what they've been doing uh, on a on a federal level, so I'll be honest with you, I'm not too optimistic about all of this. Uh, I never was from the beginning, and I'm certainly not anymore now looking at the numbers. What it has just emphasized even more with everything that, that's gone on over the past couple of years that's going on right now not just the politics, okay? I'm talking everything. And to me, the politics is just confirming it, is that we, we need to be focused on local, not local politics. And I'm not bashing local politics. That's, that's not my point. But my point is not focusing on local politics. Uh, it's focusing on local us, us, you know, the people. Um, realizing that... Um, this globalist agenda 
uh, this this evil agenda, this agenda to completely, you know, some of you may refer to it as a, a Marxist agenda, the far left agenda, the wh whatever it is, whatever it is, you know, the Great Reset, Agenda 2030, all, all the little, the the little keywords and stuff uh, that you know YouTube doesn't like. The only way to really combat that, and I have people ask all the time, you know, what is the way that we that we fight that, fight back against that? Well, it's it's on a local level. It doesn't mean that on if that, that if we focus on the local level, meaning us, our communities, our small groups, the people around us, the the, the greater community, those those layers, those circles, you know, you have your inner circle, uh, those are the people that you uh, I, I use this, the phrase that, you know, the, the kind of people that you bury a body for. That's your inner circle. That's your tight inner circle. That's family. You know, the, the men that you call brother, the, the women that you call sister, and that you really mean that because you treat them and, and think of them that way. And then you have layers outside of that. Uh, and some of those, you know, closer layers are people that you know, you know, pretty well. You trust them. You know, you would come to their aid and they would come to yours. But maybe you're just not super close. You know, maybe you're not, your families aren't spending lots and lots of time together. You know, for, for us, sometimes it's, it's you know, sharing Shabbat at home with, you know, Shabbat dinner at, at, on Friday evening uh, with, with families and stuff. You know, those kind of people, those are your inner circle people. Focusing on that, it doesn't necessarily mean, mean that we will defeat this Great Reset Agenda 2030 globalist agenda because my personal opinion is, is that all the things that are happening are very biblical. It doesn't necessarily mean 100% that we are seeing those end-time prophecies fulfilled. Some of them, I believe we are. But we're definitely, I believe, setting the stage for those things to come. You know, some things are being fulfilled, others haven't been. We're setting the stage. And so, in other words, I believe that, that this world that we're living in, it's, it's going to progressively get worse until there's this kind of bottom falling out collapse. And then either, you know, the F Heavenly Father is going to do his thing or we'll rebuild and start all over again because it, the, civilization is, a, is, a, is cyclical. Okay, we, we can look back and we can see how civilizations rise and fall, empires within those civilizations rise and fall. It's, it's all, there's a cycle. And, and just about every expert out there is saying that we are at the, that, uh, that crossing point of that cycle where the cycle comes down and then the next one is it's on the rise. So there's pretty good indication that we are in the midst of that downward cycle collapse, hit the rock bottom, and then start building back. So I'm not saying that on a local level we will combat that, that we can fix that, that we can stop America from cra crashing, we can stop the, the stock market from crashing, we can stop the dollar from crashing, we can stop you know, global shortages and globalism. and, and all. I'm not saying that, um, because honestly... Those things are quite powerful, and they've been set into motion, and I don't know that there's really anything that will stop them, next to a miracle. Uh, I certainly don't think a politician, regardless of how good they are, regardless of how much you may particularly like a singular politician, they may be able to slow it down, but I just don't know that they can stop it. And maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I, I'm not, I make no claims that my opinions are correct. They're just my opinions. That's all. And you can sit there and yell and scream at me and tell me I'm wrong. I'm okay with that, too. I have very thick skin, and it, it doesn't bother me for you to say that. So when I say that the only way that we can save this, meaning this ourselves, our, our community, our humanity, our civilization, our, our society, which is, you know, the people around us and the people that are like mind and the people of moral traditional beliefs and uh, people that, that, that think like we do. The only way that we can save that is by focusing locally. Um, and and not, I, I worry too many times that we put too much focus on the big national level, whether it's politics or whether it's the things that are happening, global wars, all that. They certainly affect us, but we need to not spend too much time on that and instead spend time on each other.
spend time within our community, helping each other, planning, you know, coming up with, you know, doing training, coming up with ideas of how we can better support each other, how we can better uh, develop ourselves into an actual functioning local community, local group, local mag, local tribe, whatever it is. Uh, these are the things that are vastly more important, I believe, than worrying about who's going to get elected into office into some far off state and far off district that in the end isn't really going to affect you that much, at least in a positive way, uh, regardless of what letter they have after their name. This is something that we need to be doing. Um, I mean, I'm not saying don't vote. I'm not saying to vote. Uh, that That's your own personal decision. What I am saying is, is that if you want to 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 do something that can actually um, create kind of a life raft for you, your family, and especially your children, the, the upcoming generations, um, focusing on local community and, and 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 training and planning and helping and building together on a local level is where it's at. Um, another friend I was talking to. In the last day or so, excuse me, <clears throat> done a lot of talking today, so my voice is a little raspy. Um, and I was telling him, I said, you know, and he's also a believer like myself, believes that we are in the, the, those days of Noah. I said, and we can believe that the the end is near to where you or I may see it in our lifetime, but it may not. I said, and so what we must be doing at the same time while we're pre preparing ourselves for that, those kind of collapse, we also need to be setting things up so that our children can carry on. Our children can learn and to, you know, because they're certainly not going to learn old ways. They're not going to learn self-sufficiency ways. They're not going to learn strong biblical truths. They're not going to learn, you know, you know, moral values. Uh, they're, they're not going to learn how to just behave in a, in a decent human way, these foundational truths that's always existed. They're not going to learn that from the world, especially anymore. So we have to build a, a system and a community now so that our children will learn that, so that if, if we're still here, you know, as a people, 100 years from now, if all this is still collapsing 100 years from now, and you and I are dead and long gone cold in the grave, that our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren will have um, a, a foundation to, 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 to be able to carry out, you know, and, and to, to be what they're supposed to be, that, 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 that what I believe is biblical, um, but that true human, I mean, you know, look at the, and I have to be careful what I say because this is YouTube, look at the, you know, you haven't seen me do that in a while, this thing, a lot of you believe that that is, you know, polluting your DNA. In fact, they've admitted to what it kind of is. And you and I know that. And, and many of you have stay, stayed away from it because of that. But what about our children? Well, we could teach them. But what about our grandchildren and their children and their children? If this plays out and it continues to get worse, could there be a scenario that there's not very many people on the planet that doesn't have that kind of DNA altering stuff? Okay, I know I'm going down the little crazy train here for a moment. We have to strengthen and build our communities now so that we have our own infrastructure, not the governments, not the worlds, not the worldly societies, infrastructure, society, culture, whatever you want to call it. We have to build our own for future generations or there won't be much left for future generations. So... In, in all of this talk and focus on what's happened in the last couple of days, what is happening, what isn't happening, a, a wave, a, a trickle, a puddle, what, whatever it is, okay, and whether it's good or bad, in the end, the, the only one next to the Father in Heaven that has any chance of, of taking care of us and, 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 our, and our, our children hereafter is ourselves and the people around us that we love and trust and have built relationships with. So whatever you're doing for your own preps, you know, think about those things also. I know some of you, it's difficult because you don't have the people around you that you want. 
or it's difficult to find them. It's a difficult to build trust and, and relationships because of where you live, maybe. Maybe you're more of an anom- anomaly where you're at than, say, where I'm at. Uh, and I'm not here to brag. It's just, it's just a sad truth. And so it's d- going to be difficult for you. And if you, in the end you have to be a lone wolf, then try to think of ways that you can uh, leave a legacy to your children or your grandchildren or their children uh, of, of ways that they can, you know, learn. And maybe one of those is just having a really good library, you know, and, and, and handing that down to your children, uh, teaching your children the best possible way that you can, the truth, the truth, because the truth is, is it becoming a dangerous thing now? I mean, it's, it's, it's almost criminal. And, and encouraging them to teach it to their children. This is, to me, more valuable than, than all the electing DeSantis and Trumps and, and Rand Pauls and, and, and all, all the others. I don't remember any of their other names, really. To me, it's more important than electing all those people because um, we cannot continue to, to, to depend upon these people getting elected to office that show us over and over again no matter how much better they are how much less evil they are than the other person that in the end they really don't do the things that we hoped that they would do they really don't make that big of a change they they may kind of slow that train down a little bit but it's not like they're turning it around and the only ones that can do that the only ones that can really um you know build a different future for our children a better future a more stable future is us it's us and the people that are around us so folks i I want to continue to encourage you to do that Um, your preps your mental preps your physical preps your spiritual preps are all really important but also your your preparations within the people around you your circle of friends the people that you know and trust that is also important uh, so that you can build something not just for you in your family, in your community, to also sur- to all survive, but also the the people that will you know that we leave behind, the people that that will be here when you and I are old and gone and dead in the ground, um, the the people that are left. What are they left with? You know, there's a one of the founding fathers. I, it slipped my mind which one it was. I'm sure someone will jump in. Um, said that you know I I do not I do not want war. I'm not saying this is my my paraphrasing. He says, I do I do not want war. I, it's not what I want. I don't want to have to go to war. But if it must come, let it come in my lifetime so that my children do not have to fight that. And so that's something that I always think about. Um, we need to do the things now in our lifetime so that we can have a better life, hopefully, uh, 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 or at least a a life that our children can have outside of this world, this worldliness, um, because we don't want it to all end. We don't want you and I to be the last generation of the patriots, the last generation of the freedom lovers, the last generation of the people that actually seek true godliness. Uh, We want to definitely pass that down through the generations. Folks, now more than ever, it's time to get your houses in order. Prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.